This is just one example of the flooding that we have seen all around the state today. Among the hardest hit areas was Westbrook, where massive amounts of water nearly took over entire neighborhoods today. News 8's Tina Detail has more on what people in those communities are dealing with this evening. Navigating through this neighborhood can be quite a challenge. Fortunately, some of the neighbors over here let you go on their porch in order to avoid the water in the road. But come around the corner here, there is no getting down this street. Unless you have a boat, many stranded as Beachway is turned into a waterway. Now, this has been the worst that it's been since Irene. So Nancy Bromley says her road, Sunrise, and others here along Westbrook's Grove Beach flood a few times a year when conditions <laughs> are right. And you can see it come up. It happens uh, when there's a full moon. A uh, full moon, something to do with the tide, the full moon, and then the heavy rain. And then it just comes over, it floods over, and it comes over in the marshy area. It was a little bit of water, and then a half hour later, it was a lot of water. <laughs> Bromley and her husband had to park their car up the road. After that, water came flooding in with the high tide and a nearby river, which breached its banks. Uh, you can't really go through there. There are very, very many times you can't go through that intersection, especially because it's salt water. And even if you do make it through, you don't make it through that many times before it rusts out your car. The Bromleys say with the high tide, it only took about a half an hour for the water to flood all the way up to this line right here. But as you can see, the water has receded quite a bit. They say, though, it will take several hours before it completely clears. On the scene in Westbrook, Tina Detell, News 8.